Hey! Padre. My stomach feels a lot better. Headache's gone too, thanks. These really weird fever dreams, and then when I woke up, you were gone. Follow me. Now that's how you kill a character that has one hand and gets fever dreams. Hey guys, it's Dan, your host of Dan's Reviews, and today I'm back for another video for Tales of the Walking Dead. We are here to do our review for this week's episode of Season 1. This is my review for Season 1, Episode 4, titled Amy and Dr. Everett. guys this one's going to be doing a review today this one's going to be doing another video for tales of the walking dead this one is my review for season one episode four titled amy and dr everett so weekly review for tales of the walking dead this is now for the fourth episode of six which means we have two episodes left which are the a train episode i like to say the a train episode and uh, if you watch my boys reviews you'll know what i'm talking about there and uh, as well as the uh, Haunted House episode with the couple, which will be the season finale. So this episode right here, this is the one that we've been waiting to see. This is the one with the doctor who studies walkers and uh, as well as the uh, Amy character who we've also seen a numerous few times in the trailers. Now, um, I like the episode. I like the episode a lot. I mean, I don't think it's as amazing as last week's episode for sure. But I definitely think it's our second best episode of Tales of the Walking Dead, for sure. Uh, I think there were a lot of things in this episode that really were really well done. Uh, I think that we had a lot of cool kind of uh, pieces of knowledge shared to, you know, us fans that have been watching The Walking Dead for a long time on, you know, walkers and how they work and how they kind of, um, you know, migraine, if you will. Uh, you know, how they kind of uh, do, uh, you know, do all these kind of things. And I, I think it was an interesting episode, to say the least. So uh, we follow a character named Dr. Everett in this episode. And basically, this episode, he is a doctor who is going out there and he is studying the walkers and their, you know, everyday, you know, things, right? What they do and, you know, how they behave and stuff like that. And we see him kind of filming this as almost like a documentary style thing at the beginning of the episode, which I must say, one of the things that instantly stood out to me in this episode is the visuals. I mean, the visuals in this episode were incredible. Some of the shots they were using, and I'll make sure to put up some images here so you guys can see. Uh, these were just, I mean, beautiful. Honestly, I didn't think I'd say that word, but like beautifully shot. This episode was really, really well done when it comes to the uh, the shots and the, the, the visuals and the hills and, you know, all that stuff. I thought that was just absolutely incredible. And anyway, he's out there and he's kind of doing his thing. He's studying walkers and we find out that he used to have a team that would do this with him, but he is the only one that made it out alive ultimately in the end. And a few of these walkers that we see traveling in this pack actually used to research walkers themselves. And now he has to be the only one that does it, which is kind of crazy to think. Um, these used to be his co-workers, you know. But uh, anyway, he's living out in like this like treehouse basically type of thing. And that's basically where he's at right now. And you've got this survivor that we meet named Amy. Now, Amy is trying to get back to her group. She's out there on her own, but she's, you know, trying to get back to her camp, trying to get back to her people. And she ends up getting saved by Dr. Everett. That's how the two of them meet. And, um, she, you know, she's not doing well. He doesn't really want to be around people because he kind of, um, I, I, I get the idea that he is unfortunately kind of scarred by losing all of his uh, co-workers and he just doesn't feel like workers is really, um, you know, uh, part of his problem any, anymore. You know, living people, he just doesn't think that it's really his issue to deal with anymore. So he does save her life, but then he ends up kind of walking off. And she ends up following him, but we can see, like, this woman is, is like, on the break of death, like, right now. She's, you know, throwing up. She's getting dizzy. She has, like, a, a headache and stuff, as she says. And uh, he won't let her in to his, you know, little treehouse or whatever. He basically lets her stand out there, and she has to forcefully go up the ladder before the dead, you know, kill her, obviously. She goes up there. She stands at the door until he finally lets her in. So... She ends up uh, getting medical attention. He ends up, you know, helping her, saving her life. Uh, and, uh, you know, she wakes up the next day. She's throwing up like crazy. She's not doing so good. And it's going to be like that for the next 24 hours, he lets her know. But um, 
he checks her bag and finds like these things she's eating i don't even know what the hell they were but apparently whatever it is it's killing her it's it's not good like she needs to stop taking those and uh anyway she was just kind of rough out there not doing so well that sort of thing so she then asks him the next day when she ends up feeling better she ends up asking him like you know why'd you save me that type of thing and what are you doing why are you studying these you know walkers and stuff and um essentially they end up making a deal he's gonna go help her find her friends and her camp and that sort of thing and uh you know in exchange she'll give him knowledge on what he needs to know and stuff like that and uh you know they end up kind of forming some sort of bond i'd like to say a little bit at least you know and uh we end up learning which was really cool in this episode i loved uh this scene a lot is we find out that the walkers uh that we see you know the reason why they they go in a herd so often the reason why they they form together as one is because one one zombie as we heard from him uh likes to protect the rest it sounds like they're like one zombie likes to protect the other group of uh of zombies and that's why they always end up you know forming into a herd they always like to stand uh you know together they always like to stick together and that's just the way they work which is really really unique and really cool i see i didn't know that you know i mean yeah they form in herds but i never knew it was so important so he ends up studying that which i thought was really cool and he kind of shares a little bit of knowledge on that so i don't know i thought that was really cool i mean it's it's stuff that we didn't know um Previous to this, you know, we've seen herds and all the Walking Dead shows, be it The Walking Dead, Fear of the Walking Dead, uh, Trash Beyond, or this show. And, you know, we never really knew why they would form together like that. So I thought that was really, really cool. And, well, essentially, uh, she ends up running into some of her friends that come from her camp. Uh, and he ends up holding her back and says, let nature run its course. And that was a pretty frigged up scene as well, too. And she has to watch her friends die because he wants nature to run its course. So she ends up getting pissed off at him. Uh, you know, basically realizing that this guy has no life at all. This guy is just, you know, not doing so well. She decides that she is going to go save her friends at her camp. She's going to go find her friends. And he says that you're going to die. You know, like the likelihood of you surviving is not going to be big. So she goes there. He goes back to his old, you know, uh, treehouse type of thing. And uh, the next day he goes out there. He finds the camp has fallen and essentially, uh, he kills a good few of the dead, and the episode ends on a, a pretty sour note, I would say, where we get to see Amy, uh, who ends up being a walker, as well as the rest of her camp, who have all died. He finds her dead, and he basically, um, you know, that's, that's basically the end of the episode. You know, he finds her dead, and he's just gonna keep studying, I guess. He's just gonna keep doing what he's doing, so... Um, yeah, that was pretty crazy. I did not expect to see uh, Amy get killed in this episode. I, I really didn't expect to see that at all. So this was really cool. I mean, obviously this episode is, uh, you know, it's kind of, I mean, let's, let's talk about uh, the weird part of this one. It is weird seeing Goose from Top Gun in this episode. Uh, honestly, uh, I love it because it's like, you know, Top Gun obviously came out so many years ago that it was, it was kind of crazy to me and again funny thing is i didn't even recognize this actor because um no offense to him but obviously he's aged since you know 1980s right so it's been a little while so when i found out that this guy was goose from top gun i was like damn okay so this is really cool and i do know that he was in a few uh, medical shows as well to er and a few other things as well uh but uh, this actor is huge so him getting an episode like this was really cool getting him in the walking dead universe was really cool as well too and um i'm gonna tell you right now one thing i i demand i need walking dead to do this is this is one thing i'll definitely say please tales of the walking dead or walking dead or one of these shows find a way to get tom cruise in here i mean seriously i know that's a big ask but like my goodness man find a way to get tom cruise in this episode in this series at some point absolutely would love to see that so anyway that was really cool kind of a nostalgia trip uh kind of crazy to see him again so much older these days um and i think the actor did a really good job and i think amy's actress uh, did really good as well too but again, seeing Goose in the Walking Dead universe in a weird way was, uh, yeah, it, it was really cool. I really enjoyed seeing that for sure. This was a very interesting episode. I'm going to give it a good old 8.5. You know, I'm not blown away by the episode by any means, but I thought it was a really good episode. I think they gave us a lot of really cool knowledge on the dead. And I think it was, uh, you know, an episode that definitely was really cool. You know, I like Dr. Everett's character. I think Amy was good for what she had as well, too. And, um... 
yeah, it was a pretty darn good episode. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys' thoughts. And uh, of course, I'd love to hear opinions, thoughts, and uh, predictions as well too for next episode. We'll be doing that next. And uh, of course, if you're new to the channel though, make sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos for the Tales of the Walking Dead. Make sure to also follow me on Dan's The Walking Dead reviews on Instagram, guys. And of course, I'll see you guys really soon for another video for Tales of the Walking Dead. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and peace out. Heard stories. Walkers that can climb walls and open doors. I was never sure if they were just stories.